Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jay Blackheart back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Xbox dashboard to Xbox Media Center. If you have no idea what XBMC is, then in short, it's a cross-platform media player and home entertainment software system, which is also a popular alternative to Microsoft Windows Media Center and Apple's front row. Now, the first thing that you would need very importantly is a modern Xbox. It can be soft-modded or hard-chipped, whichever is your preference but the system will have to be modded in order for this to work. The second thing you would need is a disc called Auto Installer Deluxe which you can find just about anywhere on Google or torrent sites. Now the reason why I really like this tool is mostly for it being highly simple in what it offers as far as customizing your Xbox. Normally you would need to patch specific files and FTP them over to your Xbox which can be a bit complicated in render your Xbox useless if you're not careful. But with the auto installer that changes all of that and makes it easy for you. So let's get started. If you haven't already, burn the auto installer deluxe image onto a DVD with a program like Image Burn. Also make sure that you burn the image as low as your DVD burner offers, like 8 times at the max. This way it'll provide a smooth process and won't lose data while burning, and the XBMC installation will be successful. When finished with burning the DVD, put it in your Xbox DVD drive and let the disc load up. It might take a moment or two depending on the model and DVD drive. Once Auto Installer Deluxe has loaded up, go to the Dashboard section. Here you will see the Install Dashboard options. If you have a hard chipped Xbox, you will choose eDrive Dashboards. And if you have a soft modded Xbox, you will choose eDrive Dashboards labeled Soft Mod. To demonstrate, I'm going to choose Install eDrive Dash Soft Mod since my Xbox system has the exploit installed. When you get to the next menu, choose Install Xbox Media Center and choose one of the three hard drive options. If you have a default 8GB hard drive installed, then choose Retail. If you have an 80 to 160GB hard drive installed in your Xbox, then choose Large Hard Drive. And if you have a 160GB to 500GB hard drive, then choose the Larger Hard Drive option. When you make your choice based on your hard drive, the disk will from there install all the necessary files that are needed to install XBMC in full which will take a couple of minutes or so. When the installation is finished, Auto Installer will bring up a pop-up box stating to press OK to continue. So go ahead and press A and go back to the main menu and choose Reboot Xbox. Your Xbox will reset itself and instead it booted into your original modded dashboard it will bring up the Xbox Media Center as its main dashboard. And there you have it, a fully functional XBMC as the system's main dashboard with no patching involved nor FTP in into the Xbox. This concludes today's tutorial. If you have any questions or need any help then please leave them in the comment section below. Till the next video, peace out and good luck.